On December 24, 2022, we visited the National Zoo in Wangsa Maju, Selangor. Arriving there, we are stunned and mesmerized by the variety of wildlife that is here. Some of them we have known and seen, but more of these animals we have never seen in real life. There are various animals such as giraffes, sun bears, wallabies, giant tortoise, deer and tigers. But our main purpose here is to see a very unique animal which is the Malayan tapir or its scientific name is Tapirus indicus. It also locally known as Chipan, Tenok and Padak Tampong. The Malayan tapir is the largest of all four tapir species in the world and can only be found in the forests of Southeast Asia. Among the traits that make this tapir unique is the pattern on its skin. It is the only black and white tapir species. This helps them to camouflage in the forest. Tapir are one of the largest mammal species in our forest. Although they are heavy, tapir can still move quickly if they are treated or spoke. Did you know that tapir's nose functions in a similar way to an elephant's trunk? It helps the tapir to pick leaves and shoots from trees as well as smell out its path in the forest. They rely on smell and sound to communicate. They will emit whistle-like call when it wants to mate or has been treated. Tapir also rely on urine sprays to mark roads, especially in areas with food and water sources. Tapir are nocturnal animals. They rest during the day and are active at night. Tapir are herbivorous animals and their diet consists of plants, weeds, seeds and fruits. Due to that, tapir plays the rule as seed disperses in the forest or also known as the forest gardener. Tapir have poor eyesight, however, they possess a strong sense of smell. Tapirs are monogamous animals. Each individual has only one mate during the breeding season. Female tapirs are able to give birth to one offspring every two to three years. Tapirs are brown with white stripes and spots on their body when they are born. This pattern will fade and change to a solid black and white after three and a half months. This special animal has a lifespan of up to 30 years and is a fully protected species. Tapir has been categorized as an endangered species under the IUCN Red List. The main threat to tapirs is habitat loss due to logging and forest fragmentation. It is also often a victim of road accidents. Even though tapirs are not common to be hunted, but still they remain a victim of snares set up by poachers. When a tapir has been injured, it will be difficult for them to move and search for food. In Malaysia, the 
Department of Wildlife and National Park, Rohinitan has carried out rehabilitation of rescue tapers. Taper will be treated until they are fully healed and then released into their natural habitat. Due to the low breeding rate of tapers, the Department of Wildlife and National Park, Rohinitan has established a taper breeding program to avoid the risk of extinction and ensure the survival of this species. Until now, 18 tapers have been successfully bred at this conservation center. Unique animals such as tapers are critical to stabilize our forest ecosystem and it needs to be protected and preserved for generations to come.